hopefully more and more good news we can deliver to people okay, that problem pata kya hai ke most of our student population is stuck in a very vulnerable situation Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another video. This is a good news video. Finally, some good news on immigration. Uh, this is about H-1B rules, which were which were related to uh, salary hikes, wages increase, and then specialty occupation. Actually, the news came out on December first, and I forgot to make a video on it. But some of you are actually asking me, what is that? Uh, you know, what did that quote say, and all of that? So this video is about that. Okay, so I want to quickly recap on what's happening. So there are two main kind of rule changes happened the number one was that department of labor said that we are going to increase all the salary for h1b visa from level one to level four basically someone who was making seventy five thousand dollars on h1b visa had it had to make about 130 140 thousand uh, dollars so that was the next like so they said that we have to increase this and then only we will give you h1b visa that was from department of labor there was another rule which was that from uscis that uh, these h1 B visa are going to be stricter uh, we need to monitor or strictly regulate that who are getting this and they need to have specialty occupation degree and all of that and then also it needs to be how the relationship with the employer and all of that so if you don't know anything about this go and check out the video link in the description that was the rule they passed on so basically this rule were challenged in the court and there were lawsuits filed again this rule that this is uh, not like appropriate rules and we need to throw this rule out or you cannot let this rule go finally the decision came out and the court decided that uh, yes this rule doesn't make sense so we will not allow this rule to happen now that's the summary of the entire this court case and this decision but if you would like to know entire thing in detail uh, continue this whole video i met with a immigration lawyer because i would like an immigration expert to talk about this topic so rajiv is back and he's always back he's a robin hood for us so he's back with this good news uh, watch the entire video to understand how this whole rule process work how government uh, decided to do this and why code decided to do this also some good other good news in the end of the video so check out everything if you are interested in this immigration topic and now i'll let you enjoy the conversation there were three lawsuits pending okay. on on the two rulings or the two regulations one from the department of labor increasing the wages mm -hmm. and the other one from uscis which changed the definition of employer employee relationship right and even more alarmingly changed and made extremely strict and tight the definition of specialty occupation yes right okay so i don't know how far we need to go into that because like i said i am a lawyer i can do this for the next 2 hours so let's begin with the let's begin with an executive summary first mm -hmm. yeah where we are today is this <clears throat> the court has thrown out both regulations as though they never existed mm. so we are back to the pre regulatory time right the department of labor is in the process of reversing their databases to show the old salaries we have reached out our association has reached out to the department of labor saying what about the cases that we have submitted already for green card as well as h1b and they said we'll get back with you mm -hmm. okay some there are some loose ends but overall those two regulations are gone mm. can the government appeal and try to reinstate <laughs> they, the day they took out those regulations i looked at them and laughed i said this is nonsense this is not going to stand yeah okay. i think we had a conversation about that right we did. Said, this, is, this is a political joke nothing else yeah okay it's a bad joke as is trump but <clears throat> it was mere mere just basically a political stunt mm -hmm. trump wanted people to see oh look what i have done right. okay right. so for now guys there's nothing to worry about mm -hmm. we are okay what the court did was 
there are two things in law there are procedures and there are merits there is ud shirt and then there is ud when i don't like your shirt i'm going after procedure mm. when i don't like ud i'm going after you mm. so when a court looks at a decision made by the government and says we don't like this shirt that's the procedural ground they said you didn't give people enough notice you just made this regulation and you have no justification for it right so that was the comment i read that uh, court the court said that there was enough in, there wasn't enough time because and you you did this during the covid pandemic and then um, uh, that's that was is that the main reason they denied it or like, or you was that to, you have to learn to read between the lines court decisions right 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 i i mean i tried to do i did but I, so what what's your take on that not my take it is a fact i've right. been doing this for a very long time yeah. so i saw indications there where they did not just dislike the shirt they disliked the guy inside the shirt mm-hmm. they did not just dislike the procedure see one of the key approaches to judicial rulings in this country not so in india one of the not even canada one of the key rulings here i've worked in different jurisdictions one of the key ways federal courts in usa approach things are they decide the minimum amount necessary to get the result done they don't write expositions okay so when you can refuse to talk with ud just because he's wearing a red shirt why do you need to comment upon ud as a person mm. that's what the court does they say when we can we don't like the procedure was bad okay but i'll tell you this i would be surprised shocked if they are able to win this case on merits why is that important okay so the department of labor says fine we'll give you 60 days notice and comment time period we will redo our regulations they do it next time we'll attack it on merits we'll say okay you gave us the notice but now the person inside the shirt is nonsense okay uh, and i there are plenty of reasons for that now if you look at the ruling there are many indications in the rulings where the court is making comments about the merits of the the, the case so leaving that aside i'm a little surprised that they threw out the h1b regulations on the same basis at least procedurally they were a little better because they gave us 30 days time mm-hmm. instead of no time at all yeah. so nevertheless the court did throw that out but one observation if you look at the footnote court said specialty occupation definition has remained unchanged since 1991 abhi kya ho gaya what happened to you now right why do you want to change this yeah see if you understand the context of why they are saying that whenever government changes its long standing position mm. they have to justify it a lot more strongly than if they are creating a new position right babu bhi wahi babu ki pant bhi wahi to phir babu ka naam kyu badal diya bhai right right when everything about the statute is the same mm-hmm. the definition in the statute is the same yeah the state of knowledge in the industry is the same yeah. why do you want to redefine it so so, so before you go next uh, so is department of labor going to come back saying because court said that you did not give enough notice and uh, is it is it like they are going to come back and say like here we go you have another 60 days uh, to comment yeah, by that time the orange horror is out <laughs> joe biden is in things are very yeah. okay <laughs> i like the next uh, dhs chief that they have chosen so we'll see what happens it's still kind of early there are going to be changes in the h1b mm. but those changes are not going to be destructive at at the most they will change some things around but i'm pretty sure they'll give us time to get used to the new set of regulations
Yes. So overall, like I said, where I began, don't worry, as I had told you, this is temporary, this will blow over. And if they still decide to come back, they'll give, have to give us a couple of months. By that time, Mr. Biden is sworn in, the nincompoops are out, Steve Miller is gone. Uh, I think he should be tried as a war criminal. But in any case, that's what we are looking at. I don't think this is coming back in its present form. It. And remember, I, I now I remember, we talked about this and I told you that some idiot politician is telling the lawyer how to do his job. And he says, fine, you're going to get kicked out in court. I'll do it. <laughs> you did tell me that. Yep. Okay. And that's exactly, I'm just surprised it took that long. See, the, yeah. the thing is, Yuri, we have a limited set of resources. As lawyers, I cannot devote 10 people, 15 people team just to do a litigation, which is what it takes to do a good litigation. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure why it took this long. This was a three-day job. <laughs> this was such an easy case to win. Yeah. Okay, so, but anyhow, that's where we are. Another thing that's happening in, and I don't know if you're keeping track of that, the two bills that have been passed by the House and the Senate, what is it, 386 and 1044, they're trying to do away with the backlog quota, and that's bipartisan, Republicans as well as Democrats. Republicans have, I mean, uh, House has passed one version of that bill, which is 386, um, the House bills are usually, I think, numbered H386, and the Senate is S1044. What are, what are those bills? Basically, they are doing away, they are trying to find ways to eliminate the, the waiting period for green cards for okay. these long times. Right. So, again, this was something that uh, I commented upon this, this morning uh, in Economic Times, because people were very excited, things are going to happen. I said, wait, wait, wait. You have a difference of opinion between the Senate and the House. Mm. That has to be resolved. Yeah. Okay. So normally they have some kind of a, a conference committee, some members from the House, some members from the Senate. They sit down and then renegotiate the terms. Yeah. And if they are able to do a version of the bill that's acceptable, acceptable to everyone, then it gets passed around and then it goes to the monkey in the White House. Okay. So the problem with Trump is that you don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. In Hindi, it's called that the bandar ke hath mein banduk thong aliya. Yes. So the bandar ke hath mein banduk, the monkey with a gun is very dangerous. You don't know what they are going to do. Right, right. They could shoot you. They could shoot their neighbor. They could shoot themselves in the foot. You don't know what they are going to do. Yeah. I'll give you an example. My Trump is my favorite pet peeve. Trump says, remove that, what is it, section 310? Remove that section from the, uh, from the law. That section protects people, protects companies like Facebook and even our forums from people posting bad content. So if UD comes to my website and in my forums, he leaves a nasty comment about somebody else that somebody can only sue UD. They can't sue me because I'm just providing the space. Right. Okay. So Trump says, remove 310. I said, what <laughs> If they remove 310, they will have to suspend your account right away because if you tell lies, then Twitter is responsible for it. Uh, yeah. What you are saying is, come and kill me, monkey with a gun. <laughs> so there are people who are like that. So I don't know if he's going to sign. I don't think he is. Yeah. Okay. Um, because Steve Miller won't let him sign. If Steve Miller falls and breaks his neck, well, that's different. But if he's around, he won't let him sign. But in any case, another thing, remember, they have, I think they break on December 8th. Yes. So they have only till December 8th to work it out. December 8th, they can't decide on the Chai Ka Cup. They're not going to decide a bill. It is yeah. very difficult. But yeah. you never know. I mean, I'm always willing to be surprised. Right. So, but what I said this morning also, um, when talking to the Indian journalists, I said, there is a keen sensitivity in Congress about the plight of skilled workers. Mm. That, you know, and today I was telling somebody else, uh, I don't remember who I was talking to, some either ka journalist. So they said, I said, you know, in India, we have this saying about mango trees 
Mm. In mango trees, when you plant a mango tree, you don't plant it for yourself. You plant it for the next generation. Yeah. So the idea is, UD will plant the tree and his children will eat the mangoes. Mm -hmm. Green cards are like that. Right. You will start the green card and hopefully your son will get it or your daughter will get it. Yeah. So that is not how it should be. That is not, that reflects on very poor policies. That reflects on lack of thought. Mm. I told you when I got my green card, it used to take only six months start to finish. That's how the system was set up. Mm. So anyhow, we'll see what happens in the immediate future. I see nothing but good things happening for you guys. Yeah. Because I see that, like I said, there is sensitivity. Only problem is there is a public relations issue. I still feel the perception of people is so poorly illuminated. They feel that all these foreign workers are coming and taking US jobs. And that was one of the, remember I told you this, this comment about you can't have dark workers compete for neurosurgeon's yeah. job. Yeah. The court said that. The court said that. Yeah. So the court said you can't compare apples and oranges. Well, so if you tell us that there is 10% uh, unemployment, in bachelor's degree, we only see 4.8%. Right. right. Okay. And within 4.8%, we don't know what is what. Right. Which bachelor's degree? Bachelor's degree in economics may be different than bachelor's degree in biology, <coughs> which may be different than bachelor's degree in computer science, which may be different than industrial engineering. Mm -hmm. You have no data to support this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are. You will be okay. This is one of the good news I'm delivering after a very long time. So, so hopefully more and more good news we can deliver to people. Okay, that problem is that most of our student population is stuck in a very vulnerable situation where hmm. you spent so much money. Even if you get scholarship, you still end up spending a lot of money. Yeah. And you don't know what the future is holding. Same for businesses. We have clients, I was on the phone with clients today, very good product company and they need these people and they don't know what's going to happen. So I was able to give them the same good news that I gave you today. Yeah. I said, we can't afford salaries of $175,000. We are already paying so much and it's, you know, for our area, that's very good salary. Yeah. Where are they coming up with these figures? I said, we can go to court. Yeah. But fortunately, we don't have to because somebody already did that for us. Yeah. So... Overall, I think we are doing better than we were yesterday. Yes. And tomorrow will be even better. Yes, that's that's the hope. <laughs> All right. Thank you again so much. And we will talk soon. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Very, very grateful for all the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep smiling and keep hustling. Tara hustle every single day.